Uh, Rotary is a global network Sorry. of community volunteers. Rotary members are business professional and community leaders who provide humanitarian service, encourage high ethical standards, and help build goodwill and peace in the world. Here are some facts about Rotary. Over 32,000 Rotary clubs in more than 200 countries and geographical areas initiate service projects to address today's challenges, including illiteracy, disease, hunger, poverty, lack of clean water, and environmental concerns. 1.2 million business professionals and community leaders around the world, more than 200 countries and geographical areas, and providing humanitarian service, building goodwill and peace in the world. In the Bahamas, we have 12 clubs, six of them in Nassau, one in Abaco, one in Eleuthera, three in Freeport, and one in Cat Island. Rotary have done many projects. The one that we are most proud of that I'm going to talk about is polio. Many of you may not have known that polio eradication is completely the work of Rotary. In 1985, Rotary launched Polio Plus an ambitious program to immunize the world's children against polio. Rotary's, Rotary's grassroots leadership, volunteer support, and initial funding for, for vaccine provided the catalyst for the World Health Assembly's resolution in 1988 to eradicate polio worldwide. Spearheading partners of the global polio eradication was World Health Organization, Rotary Club International, U.S. Centers, Disease Control, Prevention, and UNICEF. As a result of this partner's efforts, polio cases have dropped by 99% around the world. And there are only about three countries left. I think India is one of them, Pakistan, that need to be eradicated from polio. Here in the Bahamas, when I was a kid, we, we knew about polio. My children know nothing about it. That is due to Rotary. And just to talk about uh, the West Club, these men of influence that you see here, we have done a lot of projects, and I'm going to go straight to them. One of them over the years, and I'm just going to list a few. The Hope House Extension, a home for unwed teenage mothers. The Princess Rogers Home for the Age, where we contributed $45,000 for improvement. Hans across, the Baham uh, Hans across the Bahamas, which was spearheaded by one of our past presidents, C.B. Moss. Hands on projects with Program Shore, a school for challenged young boys, where we work with young men, scholarships for BTVI, a joint partnership with Boca Raton um, Club helped us to raise over $100,000 for a youth um, orphanage in Cat Island. Most recently, and you have heard that Rotary Clubs in the Bahamas have raised over $500,000 in support of the Haitian earthquake relief fund. And about two months ago, we donated a a uh, blood mobile, and the recipients of that were the, host the um, doctor's hospital and the Princess Margaret Hospital, and that is to go around and collect blood because we have a serious blood shortage. That venture cost us about 250000 from the grant that came from Rotary International. These men of influence under my administration will continue to offer service above self, and that is our motto. They work hard, they do a lot and they don't get paid for it. They do it mainly because they love to serve those